Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. Finally, it's a weekend, and it's a nice sunny Saturday, so hopefully later today, we can get outside and plant the last three plants that I have that have been waiting patiently to get planted, but Mother Nature has not been cooperating. <laughs> so that, I think, will be today's goal. So I slept better last night. I did not wake up at 5.30, thank goodness. <laughs> uh, my shoulder, whatever, pain, like, in the, like this area, shoulder, neck is gone. And I think the combination of taking Advil and having the rub uh, really helped. This is really nice because when you first put it on, it um, it heats up. Yeah, and it's an extra, yeah, extra strength heat. So as soon as you put it on, you know, you feel the heat. Feel, oh, feels really nice. <laughs> so I think um, this is like a must-have in a medicine cabinet, you know. I definitely to have on hand and that there's a good expiry date on it it doesn't, doesn't expire until September of next year and plus what I love about it and I didn't know until I bought it is that it is made in Canada little maple leaf right there made in Canada so that is awesome so I think I'm um, doing that taking Advil it helps yeah it just Cause like you can't like move and like that's you don't realize how important that muscle is you know when like you are going throughout your day and all of a sudden you can't really move as much because it hurts so anyway so coffee time coffee is is brewed um if you watched my vlog yesterday in my shopping haul i found international delight oreo at no frills I was so excited because I haven't gotten creamer at No Frills for over a year because I always get the Southern Butter Pecan. That's like my top favorite. I love it. Um, and they haven't had it. So I'd always have to go to Walmart. And so I'm going by, you know, I grab the orange juice and then I was about to grab the milk and I noticed they had this and maple. Um, I'm not sure if it's just limited, you know, for a certain time. I don't know. It doesn't say. Now, maybe I'm thinking the maple one, I didn't really look good at it. I'm thinking maybe that one might be limited because if that's out, maybe for Canada Day. Uh, but I want to try that one next. So, we're going to try the Oreo one together. I love uh, creamers with different flavors. And this is the first time I've seen it in um, international international delight creamer because it's always been like they're you know um whatever flavors they have <laughs> i think they have like what four or five different flavors so yeah that's all i've ever seen i never saw anything specialty flavored so quite excited about that that's a great way to start my saturday and yeah you've been fat yes you have don't you give me that oh uh, there we go all right so, let's try it. Oh, see, it's chocolate. <laughs> oh, it, is, it smells like Oreo. Okay. Yes. Yes, Lois. Oh, there we go. Going dark. I hate it when it does that. All right. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Yeah, I, I tried all my clothes that I got online on Maurice's. Out of five items that I bought, only one fits. I was so bummed. I'm still bummed. Um, I ordered a dress. So cute. A cute baby doll dress. So stinking cute. I want to get back into wearing dresses. And the baby doll one fits me perfectly. You know, um, it kind of like flows out, you know, and it just... But it was a size too big, and I ordered two, two tops, two um, short sleeve shirts, and they were too big. And of course, you know, I ordered these back on April 26th, and it probably took, okay, it took three weeks because of everything going on. It took three weeks for them to process it and ship it out. It took three weeks, three weeks. So, and I'm like, and I, I don't order clothes online a lot. Heck, I get the clothes at thrift stores. And I'm itching to go thrifting because, you know, I have like hardly any clothes. I need more t-shirts, you know, especially for wearing to bed, you know. Um, 
but so I, I don't order online a whole lot. If I order online, it's from... Kids are up. Um, so if I order online, it's from Amazon or Walmart, right? So, um, I never ordered off from Maurice's um, before, but they have they had a great sale, and we actually have a Maurice's. Um, they are at the outlet mall, it's not too far from us. So um, what I want to do, because that that store, I know they're slowly opening up the stores right now, but that store isn't open right now, and I think the best option for returns is just to do it through the mail. Because even when that store does open up, I don't know if that problem I'm going to take returns right away. So, yeah. I had one pair. Um, I bought a pair of jean shorts and they fit. So that was the only thing that fit. But I guess, like I said, I never, I never bought from Maurice's. So I don't know if their sizes run um, big, you know, because I'm usually a size 2, 2X. And, yeah, I, I was drowning in it. So it's like I probably could get away with a 1X. I don't know. So... Um, what I might do is when the, when the store eventually opens up and, you know, it, things get whatever normal is, and I forget what normal is, but, you know, kind of back to normal, I can go, um, to the outlet store and, you know, when they have, like, a sale, pick something out. Because they are pricey, and I don't think I would buy something at full price, so. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, um. So I'm, um, because like, originally I was going to go, you know, go clothes shopping at thrift stores and back in March and start buying spring stuff, you know, but then all this start happened and then it's like, okay, well, this is what I was going to do for my birthday, go thrifting on my birthday. And that's not going to happen. Um, even, even if the thrift store's open by then, you know, I still might want to wait a while. Um, plus I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I think um, Bad Village and Goodwill are still closed. I don't know. I know some of them in Canada are starting to open, open up, but I'm not sure about the ones around us. <laughs> but we'll, we'll see. So so far, you know, you no, know, I know it's just yeah. This year sucks. So let's just put it that way. So yeah. So you know, I was kind of bummed and trying on the clothes. So yeah. So I don't know if a one X would fit in Marisa's clothing or like, maybe an extra large. I don't know. I don't know, and and because I ordered that April twenty six, everything that I ordered they don't have anymore. Go, so go figure. I can't like order a different size, and I'm not used to ordering online because later I thought I'm like, oh really? I should have ordered two different sizes, and returned the size that didn't fit. You know, I should have done that uh, next time. If stores were open, I probably wouldn't have gone online, you know, so. But that's that story, unfortunately, yes. Oh, I'm just so, so excited to have new clothes. I haven't bought new clothes. When you have when you have kids, you know, everything, you know, goes toward them. You take care of their needs first, you know. You're put on the bottom of the totem pole, you know. You know, yeah, so you take care of their needs first. And after that, it's like, okay, but then even that, it's like, it's hard to for me to spend money, you know, on myself, right? Because I'm so used to spending money on them. But when it comes to myself, it's like I still have a hard time. And I have to like really I, I will I will I will um be in, indecisive. I will like, okay, I'm gonna do this and then change my mind and like, okay, no, I'm gonna put it, you know, everything's in my car or check out and then put in the payment option. And like, oh no, forget it, change my mind, you know, I'm so indecisive and it's hard to spend money on myself it really is even though i know it's okay and i deserve to spend you know have nice things to have a cute nice little dress for the summer and now you know now i don't have a cute little dress for the summer but maybe you know i'll look for another one uh yeah but that's that's life <laughs> all right you got you ready to try try it okay mm. so we have your cup of coffee or tea enjoy Hmm. Oh, there. Okay, that sip was bad. The first sip wasn't that good. Okay, maybe I need to put a little bit more in. Oh, my God. okay. Okay, that's better. <laughs> the first sip wasn't good, and I was like, oh, no. 
Okay, there we go. Yeah, that's good. Uh, I don't think I would buy it all the time. You know, just once in a while, switch it up. Mm. Oh, that's good. Okay, that's good. I approve. <laughs> the first sip, I, I just I didn't taste it in the first sip. Oh, so, yeah. Alright, I'm going to have coffee and donuts. Yes. Uh, oh, maybe have some waffles and strawberries with fresh strawberries. Yeah, we'll see. Anyway, so enjoy your coffee or tea, guys. Mm. Oh, that's good. I think I need to add a little bit more. Um, yeah, so it's a beautiful day here. I'm hoping we get out. Okay, those flowers make everything look pretty. And then I'm thinking this is the weekend. We'll be going yard stealing. I know. Oh, stupid virus. I need a kick in the butt. I really do. Oh, there we go. That's better. I add a little bit more. All right. Uh, that's really good. It tastes just like Oreo. It makes me want to have an Oreo. That's <laughs> Oreos, anybody? Anybody have an Oreo? Mmm. <laughs> there we go. That's much better. See, I didn't put enough in. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Mm. Okay. Oh, that's good. Oh. All right. Yep. Two thumbs up. All right. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. So I will check back in once we um, you know, get outside. Once we eventually do that. I can't open it. Up. <laughs> it's a sign. You know that I have a donut. There we go. All right. All right, so we'll get this day started after a few donuts and maybe a couple cups of coffee. <laughs> I just, I had three donuts. I had one and one just, just uh, walked away. <laughs> Is she eating grass? That's what she does. Yeah, we have to pull up the grass. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Dumb. So we are outside in our PJs, of course. Yeah, oh, cool. I'll star. Yeah, breaking up the sidewalk chalk. Well, Lois munches on grass. She does like grass. I See, look at. I, me, mm -hmm. uh, I got a ball flat out of you. Yeah. And it, it's got to look like lower. Oh, it, daisies are growing. And white and back. Yeah. The daisies are growing. You look a little bit taller. Okay, so we're working out in the front. Yeah. Right there. And. Yeah. A little bit. A little too deep, yeah. I think I'm going to have to get one more plant for right here. Right there. That's good. And I got to take off the tags. <laughs> the bushes. <laughs> That's good. That one, yeah, our poor shovel has a, a bent in it. <laughs> uh, well, back where? Back in the corner? I don't know. Now you have me thinking. Um, huh, I don't know. This may take a while. Hmm, what should I do? I think I am going to need like one right here. Now I know that one is going to end up growing. Like these, these will end up growing bigger in size next year. Alright, well that's getting finished up. Lois went inside. The boys are playing with the Able, sidewalk chalk. Able, I got new water. 
It goes to get together. Yes, they are doing an experiment with the sidewalk chalk and water. And they're realizing when we put it in water, it goes darker. <laughs> From the bird okay. bath. <laughs> what color is that? Orange! Orange! Orange. So, um, yeah, we're all still in our PJs. I haven't gone that far yet to get dressed. And I feel like. Guys, yeah. Look like at all the colors. That is a kitty one little. That is a normal one. So I, I feel she like. I feel like Audrey from that, that scene in National Lampoon Christmas Vacation where they're outside <laughs> and they're all in their PJs looking out, waiting for the house to get lit up. And she says, oh, I hope. I hope no that I hope nobody that I know drives by and sees me in my PJs. <laughs> oh, that's what I feel like. <laughs> that's what it reminds me of. But then it's like I don't really care, you know. <sighs> it's like I haven't gone that far yet. I just finished my coffee not too long ago and it hasn't kicked in yet to motivate me to get dressed, so <laughs> and nobody's gonna see me. I think this is good. Yeah, at least I still look decent. <laughs> hey? Yeah, I look good. This one's good. Okay. Looks good there. And it's a safe space for the black eyed Susans. Like one more than that, yeah. Okay. Alright. It, it's so hard because like these will grow bigger next year. But this day should be um should be good. Alright, I'll turn the camera around and I'll show you. I think we just have to get more mulch yes. and done. put finishing touches on it and it'll be done. Alright, there we go. Everything is planted. So that one is the daisy. I forget. I'm going to have to look back at my um, past vlogs when I first bought these because I could not find the name tag. That one has its name tag, but I could not find that one. The wind probably took it. And then uh, the ones I got bought at Sobeys. Well, actually, all these came from Sobeys. Everything came from Sobeys. Yeah, everything. Yep. I am not sure if that one is going to live because it looks like it is pretty much on its last breath, but we'll see. Maybe I'll come back to life. Uh, but the other one of it, the other one, because I got two of them, that one is doing good. And that, those are the Toto, what were they called? Toto Rustic Daisy. So at least that one is doing good. Here we go, but yeah, so far so good. Can't wait till they start to bloom. Oh, the shock is lined up, guys. Hey, look at that down there. Why did you do daddy? Why did daddy do it? Yeah? What if? Oh, that's nice. The ants can stay over there. <laughs> no, I don't want them in the house. They always come in the house, though. Oh. You put fresh water in. Why did Daddy do that? So you can put fresh water in. It kind of the water. Yeah. Yeah. No, because it goes to talking. Yeah, no, the, the birds. The birds don't want chalky water. Yeah, Alright, thank you. Just sprayed our new friends here with the gloss. Just waiting for them to dry. And we'll put, put them in the garden. Yeah, you want to put that one? You put Mr. Frog in the garden too, please. Thank you. Find a good spot. Yeah, so I just sprayed them. And let, let them air dry. Yep, oh, well, we'll add them to our collection. <laughs> Hello. Let him dry, he's still sticky. Help me, Where are you going to put him? Pick a spot. Henry was actually the one that remembered the gnomes to bring them out. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. That's like, yeah. Outside, just enjoying the nice weather, and it's beautiful out here. The birds are chirping, and it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous day. 
our grass needs cutting, but it's too wet. So maybe tomorrow it's still wet from all that rain we had. Yeah, so he's the one that reminded me. Yeah. Gnomes. Gotta put our gnomes out. Now what, what do we do if they come alive? Run, right? <laughs> beat them. Beat them? Okay. Like the movie Goosebumps. <laughs> So Mr. Frog is hanging out with the lovey-dovey frogs over there. And, and me. <laughs> yeah. And while I was looking, no, no, get out. Let me. Get you. Oh, I just came apart. That's okay. Hey, are you going to? You're cutting the grass. I like you. Uh, so while I was over here, I noticed one of our miniature. Right there, sunflowers are starting to peep, peep through the soil. So that's exciting because I think it's been about a week since we um, planted them. So exciting. Okay, say hi. Hi. <laughs> anybody need a? Uh, so anybody need uh, somebody to cut the grass? He's up for hire. And then here they put the no their gnomes right beside Adalia. But Henry kind of put his, there was, there was a hole here, I think, from the squirrels. So he kind of put his in there. So I'm just going to move him over. There. Very cute. I have, we have more gnomes in the garden. Well, it's been a busy, busy afternoon. Just doing laundry and folding it and putting it away, putting it away. You know, not so fun. Boring adult stuff that has to get done because nobody else will do it. So um, I did that and then I went through my summer clothes and put away my winter. I said good riddance, bye bye. And I said hello summer. And I just had to wash a little pile because they were um, too, too, too uh, wrinkly. So just to get the wrinkles out. So I'm going to have an afternoon coffee break. That's what I've been doing. Mm. Nothing too much exciting. <laughs> no, I know. It's that like kind of Saturday. Because I couldn't do anything on any of the housework yesterday because of my, my sore shoulder because I slept on it wrong. So today is kind of playing catch up with that kind of stuff. Mm. Oh, that's good coffee. Oh, yeah, so that's what we've been doing. Oh, mm. uh, yeah, so I'm going to open a window here. I keep forgetting to open the windows. Mm. All right, so yeah, so, uh, that's what's been going on. And I'm not sure. Oh, and happy um, Victoria weekend to all our fellow Canadians out there. It's a long weekend. Woo Although it's pretty sad because we won't be barbecuing because we we um don't have a barbecue. We probably won't get one until next week. So yeah, <laughs> it's kind of kind of sad, but we'll we'll live. You know, yeah, we'll make make do. I know. Yeah. So yeah, it's kind of sad because there's like, no fireworks. You know, all that kind of stuff got canceled and yeah. But that's life, so, yeah, but we'll have fun, and no schoolwork for Monday, so no online schoolwork Monday, woo, <laughs> that's the way I look at it, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm like, I, I'm not even, you know, signing into the Google Classroom until Tuesday, I'm not going to even look, <laughs> Nope. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, Alright, I'm going to open up this window and enjoy my afternoon coffee. Uh, yeah, maybe uh, get motivated to do something else. We'll see. Mm -hmm. uh, that's good. Good coffee. <laughs> Finally dry enough to cut the grass. <laughs> we have two supervisors telling him what to do. <laughs> oh, <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, I fixed my uh, fence right there. It's a lot better. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm finished up. No, kitty cat, you can't go outside. Not with a lawnmower on. Because I told him, because we're supposed to get whew, more rain to uh, cut the grass. It doesn't take long. We don't have a lot of grass, which is one park of our property. <laughs> There's not much grass to cut. Mm, you know, you're, you're done before you know it. So, but we are supposed to get more rain. Ugh, can't know. You get one nice, beautiful sunny day and then you're back to the rain oh well and speaking um of a sunny day today would have been my sister's wedding yeah <laughs> yeah she had to push her wedding back to uh september so because of all this craziness and that stupid stupid virus mm. tell ya yeah oh, yeah all right so i i was inside going over all the arts and crafts from school, from JK and SK. Um, I'll flip you over. So I still have to get another one of these. I forgot last time I was at Dollarama. So this is all Henry's crafts from school. Pretty much JK and SK. Um, these ones are Casey's up here. So I was trying to separate them. Yeah, and I'm going back into time, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's like I had them all in here. I got like a bag full. So like these are the ones like, you know, I want to keep. And what we'll, what I will probably do one day in the future is take a picture of them and print them out. And that way I have them as a memory, you know, and maybe put them in a photo book. That's an idea. But for now, I'm just putting them in here so they're organized. Yep, I, I even have his Valentine's. I kept everything. Every, every, every single craft. Why are you giggling? What are you doing? Why'd you put your shoe in the kitty litter? Casey! Oh. Life with boys, never a dull moment. I don't think she wants your shoe in her kitty litter box. All right, so I'm going to continue on with this. <laughs> oh, he was so little back then. Oh, hi, Al Prince. <laughs> oh, they always do so much in crafts. Um, crafts that, you know, they bring home a lot in kindergarten. Oh. Can I freeze? So cute. Right. Did you save it? So. No. I can't like I, I'll, I'll keep everything and go through it. And then what I don't want. I'll just recycle it. <laughs> yeah. I just keep the important stuff. I mean. The cute stuff like that, you know. Oh. It's just so cute. Mm -hmm. That's Santa. Oh, there's a big picture. <laughs> uh, but something like this, I would just call it a cycle. Yeah, that's about it. Oh. 
Oh, they always take canned stuff, and I know, and that's one thing I missed when it was Mother's Day. They always made something, and that didn't happen this year, obviously, with everything going on. Paper plate, oh, far away. Snowman. Yeah, with everything going on, you know? Um, so, that's why I had them do something here for me. Because it was a bummer, you know. He's doing his name. Yeah, honey. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. Definitely gotta keep this. Christmas tree. But I think I got another one of these bins. Next time I go to uh, Delaware, because it's a perfect size. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna finish going through everything. Letter journal. No, I, I good. Oh, like, oh. Yeah, so I probably like, eventually that's what I would do: take picture of everything and just you know maybe make it into a photo album. Oh, I'm gonna break this. An Easter basket. <laughs> I think that was, yeah, last year. That was an SK. Uh, I'm just going down memory lane. <laughs> yeah. Realizing how much he has grown. <laughs> kind of depressing. <laughs> yeah. Right. I even kept, like, uh, his Valentine. You know. You gotta keep stuff like that, right? <laughs> uh, uh. Okay. I think this is gonna fill it up. Oh, I'm not sure I can fit the cup in there. Oh no, we should be able to. Where are you? Where are you All right, I'm gonna put this away. Uh, I gotta put Casey's. I'm gonna put his in the bag, and then his will be next. Starting to get organized back there. Trying to. Okay. No. All right, I'm gonna finish this up because I gotta figure out what's for dinner because I have no idea. I'm thinking probably just mac and cheese. Because we, well, we were supposed to have that pizza, that Delicio pan pizza, which is really, really good. It's just, I wish it was just a little bit bigger. But we had it for lunch because somebody, not to mention a name, um, put it in the oven without me realizing it. We ended up having it for lunch. But it was really good. And two pieces, you know, was enough because it was thick. But I, I just wish it was a little bit bigger. Okay. All right. I'll check back in. It's our DJ! Oh! <laughs> There's a key between the couch. That's what he wanted to show you guys. Here, while you're down there, um, clean up underneath the couch, okay? <laughs> He's like, um, no. Say good night. We are watching Scoop. Of course, shocker, right? <laughs> oh, let's just say it's a good movie. We love it. It's funny. They did a great, awesome job making it, and I just love it that we get to watch it over and over and over again, which we will. <laughs> so we hope you had a great day. Um, we definitely enjoyed the sunshine. We're supposed to get rain the next few days, so we made sure to enjoy that sun. And also got a lot of work done in the house, too, but it never seems that we're caught up. You know, there's always something to do. You turn around, and there's something to do. So, just do the best best we can. So, I hope you had a great day. Um, we will see you tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure what's on the agenda tomorrow. Um, all I know is I am ready for bed. <laughs> I don't know. It's like, it's a bedtime yet. Oh, soon. Uh, so, I hope you have a great night. I hope you're having a great weekend. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Uh, yeah. Alright, so thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Uh, have a great night. I probably already said that. I'm tired. I don't know. <laughs> um, and we'll see you tomorrow. Take care, be safe, and be kind. Bye.